Hi, this is Roger from AirTanksPlus.com. Today I'd like to talk to you about the five things you should check before refilling a SCBA tank. SCBA stands for Self-Contained Breathing Apparatus. This is a tank used by firefighters. We in the air gun community also use these tanks for filling our air guns. So today I want to go over the five things um, you should check before refilling a SCBA tank. And I'm saying that sort of from the perspective of the people filling it from the commercial locations uh, that fill tanks for a living. These are the five things that they're going to check. Some of them check more, some of them may not check anything, but these are the five things they should be checking. And I'll go over them with you, that way you understand what they're checking and uh, you'll be ready for it. Number one, they're going to check to see the tank age. They're going to check that by checking the date of manufacture, you can find that here. This tank was made in 08 of 04. These tanks currently have a 15 year service life. So this tank can be refilled with air all the way up until 8 of 2019. After that, it can't be refilled. There is, There are some things happening right now where they're trying to get that service life extended because these tanks have been very, very safe and they finally have enough test data to show that these tanks, you know, are uh, pretty rugged. And so that, that might be extended in the future. So, they're going to look for the date. They're going to say, hey, is it, uh, is it under 15 years old? Yes, no. Then they're going to move down and they're going to look for something called a hydrostatic test date. And there's stickers on your tank from the hydrostatic testing. Hydrostatic testing needs to be performed every five years on these full wrap carbon fiber tanks. So they're going to look for a, a hydrostatic test sticker. Here's one. In this case it was tested in 09. So they will not and they will not tank until it gets hydrostatically tested. So I won't bother bringing this tank in. The next thing they're going to test or check is if you do have a hydrostatic test sticker they're going to make sure that it was tested within the last five years. That the third thing they will check is they're visually going to check the tank for any signs of damage, any carbon fiber strands that are unraveling, any chips, cracks, you know, if this tank had been dropped, delamination, or some, you might have some large chips. And I'll, uh, I'll put a link below this video so you can go to our website where we have a link to uh, some pictures that actually show you what some of the typical types of damage uh, can be to these tanks. So once they check it for any signs of or damage to the tank, the next thing they're going to look and see if there's any, <coughs> excuse me, the next thing they're going to look for is they're going to check and see if there's any air in the tank. Typically these tanks do not come in empty. They usually have air left in them. So whenever they see a tank that's empty, it uh, causes a big red flag. So on these SCBA tanks, you know, we as air gunners like them because we can easily see how much pressure is remaining in the tank here. So they'll check it at the at the fill location. They'll check and look. This one has about uh, 30, 3,800 psi in it. Typically, you'll bring it in. It'll have uh, probably around 2,500 to 2,800 psi if you're an air gunner. That's about the time you'd bring your tank in to get it filled. Cascade filling, and we cover that on our website. So if you bring a tank in empty, it causes problems, and uh, typically if they see an empty tank, uh, the next thing they're going to look for is that fresh hydro sticker. That's, you know, where obviously you drain the tank, send it in for hydro, and you have a brand new current hydro sticker. That's good for another five years. That would be a pretty good reason for a tank to be empty. Another reason might be if it had a uh, an O-ring that leaked. But... Granted, they're going to ask you why that tank is empty. If you buy a tank on eBay and you try and bring it to them empty, they're going to ask you, you know, it's going to send up alarms because when they see pressure in a tank, when they see it above 1500 PSI, it uh, lets them feel more comfortable about filling it. Because when you fill high pressure air, you can get something called dieseling, if there's any foreign matter in the tank. And uh, so by having a tank that already has air in it, it kind of relieves um, their fear of that type of uh, problem. The last thing they're going to check is any recall information or possible notes on a certain tank. And uh, what they'll do is they'll, they'll look up this .e 
In this case, it's .E10915. That's the specification of this tank. I've got another tank here. This is a 66 cubic foot tank. I've got a 44 that's got the same test specifications. And so they're going to look this up, and typically they'll have a binder, and they'll just thumb through it and find it. Or they might go in the back room and look it up online. You can look it up online, like I said, by Googling this dot hyphen E space 10915, and uh, that'll help help you understand what the hydro testing is on your tank. And uh, that's it. So that's the, those are the things, the five things that a tank. And I hope it helps you guys understand. And just be ready to answer any questions they have about. You know, let them know you've done your research and you know you sort of know something about these tanks. That helps. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comments below, and I'll try and respond as soon as I can. Otherwise, if you're an air gun enthusiast, tanksplus.com, SCBA specific fill adapter for these tanks. So we'd love to show you that product. Go to airtanksplus.com and check it out. Thank you.